Howdy gang, I hope you're having a wonderful day out there. If you are a long time watcher of the channel, we are glad to have you back. And if you are a complete newcomer, hit subscribe so you can be part of the Mist family from here on out. Today, we're gonna to be doing something a little bit different. Now, you're used to watching this channel and watching me take a look at vape hardware, vape juices, and providing different reviews and ideas on how we feel about them. Today, as I say, we're doing something a little different. We are instead going to be showcasing the brand new Mist Bar Salts line of Nick Salted E-Liquids produced by us here ourselves at Mist E-Liquid. First up, a little bit of explanation for those of you who might be wondering what bar salts are. Nicotine salts, of course, make up a large portion of MTL vape juices. They're different from the original free base e-juices in that they use a different nicotine solution that's a lot smoother to inhale. Now, pretty much every disposable vape uses nicotine salt e-liquids and disposable vape use is bigger than it's ever been. But a lot of people who are fans of disposable vapes are starting to realize that purchasing many, many disposable vapes actually doesn't work out any cheaper than smoking. It does of course have certain benefits to it that smoking won't give you, but financially you're still kind of getting reamed a little bit. Now, a lot of people are beginning to move over to refillable vapes from a disposable vape habit. And with upcoming rumors of a potential legislation targeting disposable vapes, we don't know yet, but our ears are to the ground on that, it has never been a better time for a disposable vape fan to finally take the plunge and buy a refillable kit. Now, a lot of people do bemoan the fact that most e-liquids don't have quite that same flavor intensity that disposable vapes do, but that is what bar salts are for. Bar salts use the same varieties of flavorings that you get in disposable vapes, so they can still deliver you that incredibly intense sweetness and flavor intensity with a refillable vape kit. And the Miss Bar Salts line seeks to do exactly that, to provide disposable vape levels of flavor in a refillable kit. And it does come with certain advantages too. Not only are there 12 fantastic flavors for you to give a shot, but they actually come in a remarkable variety of nicotine strengths. Ordinarily, a disposable vape is pretty much gonna give you 20 milligram or nothing. And if you're lucky, maybe there's a 10 milligram one, maybe there's a zero, hard to say. But the Mist Bar Salts line comes in three milligram, six milligram, 12 milligram, and 18 milligram, meaning, those of you who started using disposable vapes to ultimately reduce your overall nicotine intake are gonna find that easier to do than ever. You can start off on an 18, quickly make your way down to a 12, then a six, then a three, and if you want, at that point, you can pretty much walk away. If your intention from the very beginning was to stop inhaling nicotine ever again, the Miss Bar Salts line is going to help you achieve exactly that. I am going to go ahead and try all 12 of the Mist Bar Salts vape juices to give you my on-the-spot flavor impressions. For this, I'm going to be using a Vupu Doric Q because it is a very simple kit. We were able to fill a whole bunch of pods with various liquids, and it's just easy to go ahead, snap it in, start puffing. I don't have to worry about playing with it or anything like that. That out of the way, let's go ahead and jump into the very first of the Mist Bar Salts line. First up, we have got Arctic Extreme, a pure blast of cool tundric refreshment. Let's go ahead and give this one a shot. I've not actually tried this one yet, so most of these are actually going to be you seeing me give it a shot for the very first time. So let's go ahead and see what Arctic Extreme has got for us. Just a quick check, I am using a 1.0 ohm pod right now. Each of these pods is going to be very much an MTL pod because these are MTL 50-50 juices. That's right, 50 VG, 50 PG. So don't go trying whacking these in a sub ohm kit because you might get a bit of a mess on your hands. But let's go ahead and try Arctic Extreme. Ooh, cold. Mmm. Got a kind of almost polo kind of sort of popular mint confectionery kind of taste to it. 
which is interesting because I remember reading that this was primarily going to be just a pure menthol and ice e-liquid to it. It's gonna be an absolute palate cleansing refresher. So I am surprised to notice that there is the faintest touch of sweet flavor to it. Mm. Mm. Oh, <laughs> that was interesting. We just did a French inhale, you might notice, and that was actually very cold and nose when that vapor went up there. Let's just give that one another shot. Oh boy. My nose has never quite been colder than that. That is a very interesting experience. You get a nice arctic surge going straight down the throat. Doesn't hurt the lung by any means because you do have the nicotine salts in there. Doesn't hurt the throat, but the ice does give the throat a little bit of a kick. Ooh, the subsequent intake of breath is extremely refreshing. If you were puffing this on a hot summer's day, you would find it very cooling. Honestly, maybe I shouldn't have done these in alphabetical order because I have a feeling this is going to be an absolute killer palate cleansing vape. In the future, if you ever get too much sugar or you know, a bit too much lingering flavor, a quick puff on this is likely going to be what just completely removes any lingering flavor from the palate. So, mm. it's a simple pleasure. Nice Arctic puffs all day long. I am using this one at 12 milligram, but thanks to those nicotine salts, it's going down very smoothly. So Arctic Extreme, a lovely chili treat. Next up, a little bit more dessert for you in the form of banana caramel. Despite the name, it does have banana and caramel, but also a layer of waffle batter to it as well. So let's go ahead and give this little dessert delight a try. Ooh, the waffle comes through very, very clearly. It's got a lovely kind of toasted flavor to it. And that soft banana just layers on it with this beautiful mellow flavor profile that just meshes perfectly with that lovely spongy, chewy waffle batter flavor. A lovely breakfast vape, a lovely dessert vape, and that fiery caramel element to it as well just provides a nice little kick of hot sweetness at the end that prevents the flavor from being too grounded. So the caramel really comes through. You've got the banana and the waffle coming through all mellowed out, chilled back, but then caramel surges in there and it's like, hey, let's have a little bit of fun with this as well, providing a really nice dessert edge to it. If it was just banana and waffle, it would be delicious, though it would be absolutely more of a breakfast flavor, whereas Caramel really elevates it with that fiery intensity of sweetness. Mm. Mm -hmm. This isn't the only banana flavor we're gonna be trying today, and I am very much hoping that the upcoming banana one we're gonna try later has that exact same flavoring to it because that is one of the better banana tastes I've tried. It's mellow, it's soft, it's creamy, and it just works perfectly as an accompaniment to some dessert flavors. An absolute delight for a dessert fan. Okay, up next, we've got an old classic of a flavor in the form of blue raspberry. Everyone loves blue raspberry. I mean, what could be nicer than a nice, vibrant, sweet, juicy raspberry? That's right, a sour one. So let's go ahead and see what the Miss Bar Salts blue raspberry has in store for us. Oh, that's the sweetest one so far, easily. Ooh got way more of a sugary kick to it than the banana caramel did. That one was a little bit more mellow. This one is not mellow. This one just surges right out there. Vibrant, zesty, tangy, really surging at you with a lovely sugary fruit profile that has a nice extra element of sweetness in the form of that sourness. Mm. Mm. Unlike a lot of blue raspberry liquids, it doesn't actually have a lingering aftertaste to it. I found that a lot of blue raspberry liquids end up having to add ice to it just so it can clear the palate on the exhale. With this one, the minute you breathe out, it is gone. So you get lovely sweet hits and tangs every time you puff, like mm -hmm. 
lovely sweet stinger on the tongue, but doesn't linger, makes it, you know, it is not an overbearing house guest. It comes in, tips its hat, says hi, and then shoots off right down the road. A beautiful, sessionable blue raspberry vape. And that is a rare thing because a lot of blue raspberries out there, they just get a little bit too sweet after a time. So that is an absolute treasure of a fruit vape. Continuing with the fruity fun, we have got Blueberry Burst, which combines the flavors of soft, gentle blueberries and old school bubblegum candy. So let's go ahead and whack those in here and see how these titans slash. The blueberry is front and center. Second you start inhaling, you immediately get that lovely, subtle, sweet, never too sugary profile of the blueberry. Just just unfurls across the tongue like a beautiful, delicate, fruity blanket. But then afterwards, mm, 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 a little bit deeper inside that, you start noticing that bubblegum flavor and it is a classic. I remember recently mentioning a bubblegum, can't quite remember which, there was a bubblegum liquid that really made me think of those little bubblegum balls that you get in the bottom of those little plastic cone ice creams from back in the day. That really is once again, very reminiscent of that. It's a really mellow, sweet bubblegum flavor, not too sugary because if it was, it might end up overwhelming that nice blueberry sweetness, but just adds a lovely playful element to what would otherwise be an extremely laid back fruit vape. Mm. Mm. Both of the flavors, I would say, have an equal level of strength to them. They never quite overpower each other and they're not arm wrestling either. They're not in competition. They're definitely complementary flavors. You've got that lovely blueberry sweetness. You've got that really nice old school pick and mix aisle style. I was about to say a brand name, I probably shouldn't, bubblegum flavor. And it's just, that they work together beautifully. A lovely blend and meld of sumptuous sweet and mellow flavors. That is a surefire hit for anyone who likes a bit of fruit and candy, but does not want to get overladen with too much sugar. Lovely choice. Okay, next up, one that I am a little bit excited for, we've got Cherry Berry Twist, which is our effort at a cherry cola vape juice. If you watch this channel, you know I love a cola vape juice, and cherry is one of my favorite fruit vape flavors. So I am excited to see how we have gone ahead and paired these up. Let's go ahead and see if it is up to scratch. Cherry berry twist, go. There's that cola. Mm. Oh, there it is. Mm. And the cherry comes in a little bit afterwards. The cola flavor hits you instantly. It's got that sparkle, it's got that sugariness to it. It's got that really kind of rounded, almost imperceptibly spiced, like on the very cusp of botanical flavor that cola does have without ever actually leaning into being too mature a flavor. But then the cherry comes in with a really seductive, juicy, dark, sweet, playful profile that elevates that cola flavor. They don't fight each other. They work in perfect conjunction. That is a beautiful cherry flavor, actually. I've tried a lot of cherries in the past. A lot of them lean into a bit too much of a glacé cherry or candy cherry flavor. That tastes like the genuine article fruit that's been squeezed into a freshly cracked open can of cola. That is delicious. Doesn't have any ice to it, but it doesn't really need to. If it did have ice, you might find that it would kind of dominate the fruity and soda profile. So instead, mm, mm, you just get a nice ongoing beverage bounty. It does have a slight lingering aftertaste to it, but it's not overwhelming. It's not too sugary. You don't find it too cloying. It just gets you excited for that next thirsty puff or one of the very best beverages that has ever been made by man. And in my opinion, Mist have gone ahead and perfected the vape juice version. Mm. I think this one might be coming home with me. That is delectable and a fantastic beverage vape. Now, next up, we've got another new twist on an old classic in the form of classic Mr. Blue. You'll probably notice the blue color of the bottle on this one, and that might give you some indication as to what this flavor profile is going to be. What we've got here is mixed forest fruit berries, a little bit of aniseed, and a kick of nice icy menthol for that 
touch of fruity refreshment. Let's go ahead and see what Mr. Blue can do for you. Oh, oh, that is a different animal right there. That is, mm, it's a strong flavor. The botanicals come right out the bat. It's not too, it's not too playful. It's honestly got a touch of sophistication to it. The mixed berries come through with a lovely tart mixed sweetness profile. And then the aniseed just injects a beautiful edge of sharp and mature licorice into the whole thing. So it is never going to be too sweet for you to session all day. And the menthol, mm. The menthol is cooling. It's not as overwhelmingly strong in its coldness as the Arctic Extreme. This is a little bit more of a sweet accession bait, but again, not too sweet. It's got a lovely complexity to the flavor, a real touch of maturity to it. Mm. That is a gorgeous use of aniseed. I have to say, I have to go ahead and toot our own horn here. That is one of the better aniseed babes I've ever had a chance of trying. It doesn't sort of dominate the profile. It doesn't sort of overwhelm you, but it just adds a perfect level of elevation to those mixed berries. And then the ice just comes along and gives the botanicals a nice handshake. They work in perfect conjunction. <laughs> And you get a nice all around the mouth level of flavor. I think it's probably a mix of the menthol and the aniseed. They really unfurl, they blossom on the flavor palette and just make sure that your whole tongue knows exactly what is going on. Classic Mr. Blue, a lovely session vape. Maybe not necessarily for those of you who like pure, you know, pure sugary sweetness all day long, but if you do like a sweet vape that's got a little touch of sophistication to it, you cannot go wrong. Classic Mr. Blue. Now complexities are well and good, but for the next one, we're gonna go with more of a simple pleasure in the form of classic tobacco leaf. What we're hoping is going to be your new favorite tobacco vape juice. Let's go ahead and give this one the old college try. Oh, that has got a beautiful toasted profile right off the bat. Some of the best tobacco vape juices I've ever tried in the past, they really lean into that toasted element. It almost, almost has a kind of, I mean, it's not sweet by any means. It's not desserty, but it's certainly not what you would call a bitter flavor by any means. It does have, you know what? It does have a touch of sweetness to it, but it's certainly not a sugary vape by any means. Mm -hmm. Cigar style. It's got a lovely earthy edge to it. <clears throat> A real nice kind of hand rolled taste. Though it almost has a touch of some kind of, almost a kind of spice to it. It's not like vanilla or anything like that or cinnamon, but there is, there is a touch of something almost spiced to the overall toasty tobacco profile. Seems kind of reminiscent of one of those Turkish blends that you might use in a shisha or a hookah pipe. It's not too strong. It's not like an overwhelming kind of, you know, drum style tobacco. It's instead, it's quite light, it's fragrant, it's aromatic, it's got that spiced quality to it. That is one of the better tobacco flavors I've tried. That is gorgeous. That is, mm, this is definitely coming home with me, this one. This is lovely. Mm. As a person that's now been vaping for, God, I'd say over 10 years, <sighs> who still does in his heart of hearts have a little bit of a torch held up for tobacco, this is a godsend. This just gives you everything you want from a tobacco vape. And one of the better things about it, I think, <sighs> yeah, there's no aftertaste to it whatsoever. That is actually quite remarkable how they've managed to do that, how we've managed to do that. It doesn't stick around on the tongue. It's gone the second you exhale it, just like when you're smoking a cigarette. I mean, cigarettes don't even have much of a flavor to them, do they? You inhale the smoke, you exhale the smoke, and it's gone. There's a bit of a lingering stench, but that's about it. With this, mm, you get that lovely taste hitting the tongue. But the second it's gone, it's gone. I would say if you are a recent smoker who switched to disposables and you don't really want to stick to disposables and you do miss that taste of tobacco, please give this one a shot because it might just become your very favorite tobacco vape juice. Next up, we've got some cool fruit vibes for you in the form of fresh banana ice. 
Now, banana ice has been a remarkably popular disposable bait flavor. It's a little bit of an unusual one, but we have found it has been extraordinarily popular and we were very keen to put our experience to the test and see if we could come up with a nice and lovely, refreshing banana bait. So let's go ahead and give that a banana blast. Fresh banana ice. There's that banana flavor that I tried in the banana caramel, but it is definitely a bit stronger. Without that kind of, you know, waffle and caramel overlaying it, instead you get this really lovely, natural, soft banana taste. It's kind of potassium rich. Mm, mm. It's got that genuine article of fruity flavor. And the ice is present, but it actually holds off a little bit because the ice might end up kind of impacting on the banana taste. But instead, the ice is just there to make every puff a little bit refreshing, a little bit chilly. But it never dominates that lovely fruity profile. It's got a lovely sort of mellow cascade of fruity flavor, just endless banana slices being forever sliced down a beautiful ocean of flavor that was a weird image but mm. if you like banana vapes you're definitely going to enjoy our fresh banana ice because that mm. if you were hoping for a super cold vape you might want to try arctic extreme or something else because it's not going to completely freeze you out but that little touch of ice is going to stop that lovely potassium rich creamy banana flavor from building up and lingering too much on the profile. So, but the point at which it hits your tongue is very intense. You get a real powerful punch of banana flavor as you're inhaling it. And then afterwards it's gone and you find it doesn't sort of linger. It's just a nice touch of banana every time you take a puff from the pod mm. or tank as the case may be in your case. Banana ice has never really been a flavor that I've gone nuts for, but that is simply, in my opinion, a beautiful banana fruit flavor with just a touch of refreshment to it. So very nice if you enjoy a nice, lovely fruit flavored vape without too much extra flavoring to get in the way of that nice soft fruit profile. Delicious. Next up, a little sour power for you in the form of grapefruit ting. Now, grapefruit is wildly overlooked when it comes to vape juice. I think I've only ever tried one or two grapefruit vapes, and usually it's grapefruit and a whole bunch of other flavors. And this is going to be pure grapefruit vibes. So I am very excited to see what our mist scientists have put together for me to vape today. Oh, that is citrusy. Oh boy, the second you inhale, that is profoundly citrusy. Mm. And it's a distinct citrus too. It's absolutely the taste of pink grapefruit. A lot of citrus vapes, they can sometimes just fall into a sort of hazy, sour fruit realm where you're not fully able to identify the taste. But that, that is the taste of freshly squeezed grapefruit. That is an American breakfast right there. Mm. Mm. You know, putting that up next to the banana caramel, I don't know what the better morning vape is because they're both fantastic breakfast profiles but that mm, is definitely a sour vape not too sour it's not a tongue twister but it's got a lovely tart profile that fruit fans are going to be able to find they can vape all day without getting overwhelmed by sourness mm, mm. i just keep going back to that I, mm. it's just so distinct I've not really had the chance to try a grapefruit vape before that managed to do such a good job of conveying the mother fruit's flavor over. It's got a really natural taste to it. There's maybe the, just no, to be honest, I'm looking for a candy element to it, but I'm not really picking it up. It's pure fruit all the way through. Doesn't have any ice to get in the way. Doesn't have any candy or extra flavoring or sugar to get in the way. That is a pure citrus fruit vape. Mm. And the aroma it gives off too. Mm. It's got a lovely, but the aroma is more sour than the flavor itself. So anyone who's near you is just gonna be getting lovely grapefruit puffs every time you exhale, which you know they can thank you for. In places, if you really stretched your imagination, you could potentially argue that it's got almost a touch of blood orange to it, but no, I still think it's absolutely a grapefruit vape and probably the best grapefruit vape flavor I've had the you know, luck to try myself. So that, mm. 
One more. One more for the good times. Mm. Just beautiful citrus fruit all day long. What could be better than that? Well, let's keep this citrus train rolling with lemon and lime zest. The classic citrus combo. I am very excited to see what we have done here. I'm expecting it to be probably a touch more sour than the grapefruit was, but let's go ahead and see how we went and done did it. Oh, ooh. Oh, I see why it says zest on the bottle. Oh boy, mm, mm, mm. Do you know what? I was wrong. I was expecting a pure sour vape, but that, that is sweet. That is the taste of sweet lemons, not sour ones. The lime comes in a little bit more restrained than the lemon does. The lemon, the sweet lemon, definitely takes up the dominant edge of the profile, but then, ooh. The lime zest comes in and just gives it this beautiful tart kiss that just elevates the lemony sweetness. That is a very novel take on lemon and lime. I've not really had the chance to try a lemon and lime that's done quite that. Usually it would just be sour, 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 sour all day long, but that is sweet. It's sweetness, it's sugariness, it's a delightful, natural, lemony sweetness with just a hint of sour to just put a little smile on the lips as you exhale. Mmm. Mmm real intensity on the spot of the tongue that it hits as well. Mm. 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 Eminently Moorish. I mean, sometimes you find with a sour vape, it can put you off after you vape it too much, but because of the sweet lemon dominance in there, you find that you just want to go back for another hit with that little bit of lime zest at the very end, just, just taking it off of your profile and helping you forget exactly what that tasted of. So you just want to go straight back for another. Mm. Mm. Oh. Probably the most unique lemon and lime vape juice I've had the chance to try, and I'm very proud to say that it's in our own Miss Stable. Mmm, delectable. All right, up next for the penultimate one, we've got the last of today's cherry vapes in the form of sweet cherry candy, which, as I've been told, is an attempt to recreate that classic flavor of cherry chewy sweets, a pick and mix classic. Let's go ahead and see how we went and did. Oh, there it is. Oh, I have had, oh boy. Mm. <laughs> I have had a few evenings of eating a whole bag of those sweets and feeling real bad about it the next day. <laughs> mm. Mm -hmm. mm. One puff on this, you will recognize that flavor instantly. I'm not gonna say it, but it tastes a little bit like a rather popular European sweet brand that we're gonna go ahead and call Barrigo. And I think that um, <clears throat> grown-ups uh, love it ever so much if you get exactly what I'm driving at here. Mm. <laughs> mm. There's almost as well, there's almost, it almost feels like right on the edge of it, there's maybe the faintest touch of like eucalyptus in there. Like it's almost imperceptible and maybe I'm just having a phantom flavor, but it's almost like they've managed to bridge the gap between cherry chewy sweets and cherry hard candies, you know, like cherry drops where they've got that nice kind of syrup in the middle. <laughs> the cherry flavor itself is very natural. It's got a really nice freshly squeezed dark cherry flavor, but then the candy comes in. And the candy is strong in this one, my friends. Usually with these, the candy is a little bit laid back, but with this one, the candy is right up front and center, right alongside the cherry juice. And just, it just perfectly conveys the flavor of those ever so popular cherry chewy sweets that you have known and loved. Believe me, one puff on this, you will know exactly the sweets that I'm talking about. So if you like a fruity candy vape or you just like candy vapes in general, you absolutely must try sweet cherry candy. Honestly, anyone standing around you as you're vaping that will think that you've just got a bag of chewy candy sweets on you because that is the exact scent that they give off. That, <clears throat> that was a real surprise hit with me. That's delicious. <laughs> and finally, to cap it all off, what 
kind of vape juice range would we be trying to shift without a lovely touch of tropical taste? Yes, sweet watermelon with a beautiful green cap on the bottle. I really appreciate that little visual touch to it. So I'm expecting a little bit of candied watermelon chewy sweet here, but let's go ahead and see what the final of the Miss Bar Salts has in stock for us. Oh, island vibes right off the bat. Mm. Yeah, it's got that lovely, lovely watermelon flavor to it. Not as candy-esque as I was expecting. Honestly, I was expecting it to be a bit more candy-ish than that, but mm, mm. you've got that pulpy, lovely red, delicious fruit in there, and almost a taste of that green rind going on as well. The candy is definitely present, but it's definitely more restrained than it was with the cherry one that we just tried. Just gives it a little touch of extra sweetness to keep it from getting too grounded. And mm, mm, just makes it a little bit more approachable. If it didn't have the candy to it, some people might vape on it and think it was almost too natural in its fruity profile. But instead, you just get a lovely paradise puff followed by a delectable candy cloud. <sighs> mm. Watermelon vapes aren't usually my thing, but that is really nice because it really captures the genuine and authentic taste of the watermelon. So that is a very pleasant surprise for me. Mm. <sighs> and I think that we can be very proud that we have this in our stable because that is a delectable watermelon vape juice. If you like watermelon vapes, you've definitely got to try sweet watermelon. Well, thank you guys for joining me as I went ahead and trialed the brand new Mist Bar Salts range, which I feel perfectly manages to capture that delectable and characteristic disposable vape flavor. They premiere on the 23rd of November, so definitely take a look about getting your hands on those. And honestly, guys, I think you're really gonna love these if you've been using disposable vapes and you're ready to move on to a more affordable, refillable vape option, which gives you as well, let me re-emphasize, the ability to lower your nicotine strength as we go. Most of these have been 12 milligram because that's simply what I vape, but a couple of them were in fact three milligram just because I wanted to get a sense of if they had the same kind of flavor profile to them, and they absolutely did. So guys, if you are interested in dropping the disposables, check out the Miss Bar Salts range, and we'll see you again real soon.